Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to remove the Whitestone Dome Glass screen protector from your Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now, I've been getting tons of questions about this on my installation video asking, you know, if you do happen to crack it or break it, or maybe you've just been using it for so long, it's gotten so scratched up over time and you're just ready to remove and replace. I've been getting a lot of questions asking how you do this. Well, there's actually two ways to do this. So I do have my device powered off just so, you know, the screen isn't constantly going on when trying to do this, but you can actually do this dry if you want. I mean, you can simply, you know, pretty much place your fingernail under, or maybe, you know, a thin credit card or something like that. You can simply just place it under the screen protector prop it up and just slowly move around and start peeling it up nice and slowly but what i do recommend doing is another way which actually includes a blow dryer uh not sponsored <laughs> by this brand but i usually use a blow dryer to kind of heat it up a little bit to heat up that adhesive that was cured under this uh, screen protector here and it just makes it a whole lot easier to just peel that screen protector up off of this display so let's go ahead and do this now you don't want to heat it up too much because you don't want to pretty much damage your existing display on the device itself so i'm just going to go over it really quick on low but on hot or warm just going to go around the edges because the edges are where you're going to pretty much put your fingernail under or maybe a thin, like I said, a thick, a thin card or just something thin that will fit under there. Almost done. And that feels that feels good right about there so let's go ahead and remove this so i'm going to go ahead and start up at the top left just put my finger down to there look at that you can see it's starting to come up already nice and easy now just kind of slide my finger around and then just gently start to pull up so what i'm doing before i finish this I'm kind of pulling out and up as I go. If I just pull up like this, you can risk cracking uh, the screen protector itself. So I'm kind of pulling out and up as I go. And there it is. And look at my screen protector actually still looks pretty good, but I just wanted to do this video to show you how to remove this. And as you can see, it can be easily removed and the display is still actually looking really good, really clean actually, as you can see there. So there's no residue on here or anything like that. But if you do want to, if you want to do like a wet wipe or a wet cloth, you can do that. Or you can use just like a nice dry cloth, cloth like this. Just go around the edges, make sure there's no residue or anything. But for the most part, I mean, the display is clean. As you can see there, looking good. I don't see any residue or anything like that. It doesn't end up sticky or anything feels like a brand new display again. And that is pretty much it. Very easy, very simple. So you can see you got the screen protector right here and um, my display is ready to go and put a new one on there if I do want to replace this one here. So there it is. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. I hope this video helped for those that were wondering how you can easily remove this screen protector from your Google Pixel 7 Pro. I know a lot of people were kind of scared to do it or have been scared to do it after you've used the screen protector for a while or it has been damaged on you. Like I said, I do recommend uh, doing this with a blow dryer or maybe you have a heat gun. Like I said, don't heat it up for too long, just enough to warm it up a bit so that it makes taking the screen protector off a lot easier for you so you don't end up cracking it. If it is cracked already, it will be just a little bit more difficult. That's why you wanna go nice and slow so you don't risk cracking it even more. Like I said, pull out and up and it will make the process a lot easier. But I hope this video was able to help you out. And I'll have a link down in the description below in case you are interested in replacing one for yourself and you wanna pick up another one, I'll have a link down in the description below. But thanks so much for watching. Leave a huge thumbs up on this video if you did like it and find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. This is Josh Quinones. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.